Tonight, law enforcement investigating Tuesday's massacre at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, have not found what motivated the gunman to carry out the attack. They also haven't figured out why he chose that particular school either. ABC's Christine Sloan reports as the president and first lady plan to visit tomorrow. Memorials continue to grow in Uvalde, Texas, as the investigation into Tuesday's tragedy continues. A timeline of the shooting is becoming clearer. A teacher propped open a school door at 11.27 a.m., which the shooter used to enter the school. At 11.33, he targeted classrooms 111 and 112. Two minutes later, seven Uvalde police officers are inside the school, but did not breach the classroom. Officials say school district police chief Pete Arredondo wrongly believed it was no longer an active shooter situation, but a barricaded subject. But from 12.03 to 1247, students were dialing 911 from inside the classroom, begging for help. Meantime, 19 officers were in the hallway outside those classrooms. There were children in that classroom that were at risk, and it was, in fact, still an active shooter situation. It wasn't until 1250 that authorities used a key to enter the classroom and killed the shooter. The district trained for this type of situation back in March, practicing scenarios and utilizing the state's extensive course manual, which advises first responders to not wait, saying the best hope that innocent victims have is that officers immediately move into action adding a first responder unwilling to place the lives of the innocent above their own safety should consider another career field. The head of the Texas Rangers was pretty clear these officers did not follow training they received just two months ago. President Joe Biden addressed the tragedy as he gave the commencement address at the University of Delaware. It's too much violence, too much fear, too much grief. We must stand stronger. We cannot outlaw tragedy, I know, but we can make America safer. On Sunday, he will travel to Uvalde with the First Lady, where they will meet with the grieving families. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York.